Diane Rogers and today I want to show you how to make creme brulee. Every time I mention creme brulee to anybody they say oh my god it's so good and you know it's so easy to make you really have to see this to believe it. So anyway let's start. What I have are some egg yolks and sugar. Um, nine egg yolks, quart and a half of cream in back of me and a cup and a half of sugar. And I have already brought the cream up to a simmer and I'm going to add half the sugar to that and I'm going to put the other half of the sugar in the bowl. I am going to light this back up again and we're going to whisk the cream and the sugar together. Then what I'm going to do is whisk the egg yolks and the sugar and I'm going to add the vanilla bean. So here's how to do a vanilla bean. Hold your finger down on one end, split it down the middle, open it up with the side of the blade. It'll open up flat, right? And while holding it flat, then scrape the bean. And then that is going to go into the bowl for some vanilla flavoring and I'm going to wipe the tip of the knife off on the bottom of the whisk and then the pod is going to go into the cream because I want all those little tiny specks out of there and that's where the flavor is going to come from. So we're going to whisk this up really well and then as soon as the cream warms back up we're going to temper these egg yolks and then warm it up again slightly put it in some ramekins. I'm going to put it through the sieve and then it's going to go in the oven for about an hour in a water bath. So okay we've got egg yolks, sugar. This has come up to a nice little simmer. So what I'm going to do is just very slowly and just a little bit at first put in a little of the cream. Bring that up just a tiny bit more. Bring that together a tiny bit more and once all of the egg yolks you can see that they're not scrambling then you can dump it all in. Okay then what we're going to do is through the sieve we're going to dump this bowl back into the pot and rewarm it slightly. And all of the little vanilla seed comes out. And if there's any traces of egg yolk that didn't mix all the way, then it's going to come out in the sieve. But I am going to take the pod and put it back into the custard mix so that we can now put this back on the stove to warm ever so slightly and you can see you know there's a little bit of yolk in there that didn't quite you know mix in really well so as to have this a grainy you wanted a real smooth creamy texture and I'm making nine because we're having guests for dinner tonight so we'll have one extra just because and then evenly spaced so that the water goes even around them and then we'll take this mix and pour it into the ramekins but I think what I'm going to do is rather than try and pour that entire amount I'm going to pour it through a little measuring cup just because it's a little bit easier to pour and so we'll fill up all nine of them the water hopefully will come up halfway around the ramekins and then to into a 325 oven for about an hour until they're set. So is that not easy? Then they have to chill for a while. Then we'll put some sugar on them and then torch them to give them that nice crackly little top. So there is the nine fill. This is really a great dessert because one, it just couldn't get any easier, and two, 
it's really good. It's nice and creamy, and I don't know who doesn't like this one. So, anyway, I'll put these in the oven, and I'll show you what they they're look like when they're done. So, the creme brulees. They were in the oven about uh, 45 minutes, because they were a smaller one. And you can see, now I'm taking them out of the water bath. Uh, you might have to take these out with a towel. My hands are so torched, it doesn't make any difference. But you can see that they jiggle just a little bit, but they're nicely set. They're not overly cooked because the water helped keep these nice and moist. So they jiggle just ever so slightly. So now what we want to do is take these out of their little water bath and they're going to cool off for maybe 15-20 minutes and then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator before we put some sugar on them and caramelize them. And this is going to make a lovely dessert, just lovely dessert. So we have a couple big ones for those that just can't get enough of this stuff, but these set up quite nice too. So anyway, I'll be back after these get chilled up and we'll show you how I uh, caramelize them with my blowtorch. And I have my sister helping me with a beautiful little tray that is perfect for the refrigerator. So we'll put them on this so that they can all go into the refrigerator at once. Oh, what a lovely size. This is beyond perfect. And this is going to make a lovely dessert. Yep. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Isn't that just about perfect? All right. So to the refrigerator, then we'll be back and I'll show you how I caramelize them. Mm -hmm. Happy I'm back. I'm with my creme brulees and all my friends, my best friends for all these years. And so I'm going to teach you how to finish these creme brulees. They're so easy. They're so good. And we're just rolling over them. And Chloe really wants one too. So I thought I would start with just one to make sure it was going to work. And here's what we're doing. The creme brulees have chilled down. They're going to get a little coat of sugar on the top, right? Not a lot, but just a nice little coat of sugar. And then what we're going to do is light our torch. And the propane torch, you can't really do this any other way. Are you scared? No. You have to have a propane torch. And what I'm going to do is just torch the tops of these until it gets nice and gold, well, beyond golden. It takes a minute or two, but it's well worth it. And these are cheap, so it doesn't cost a fortune to go buy one if you really like to do creme brulees. Or plumbing. Or plumbing. You sweat pipes with those, Diane. Sure. Oh, sweat pipes. Okay, plumbing supplies, too. <laughs> but anyway, they're cheap Straight and they're one. good. <laughs> and so I have the hood on because it's going to be a little brown sugar. But anyway, so you get the idea of how this goes. And it does take a little bit so that the sugar uh, caramelizes. And then you have a perfect creme brulee. So we'll be eating this in no time. And I'll come back when it's time to eat them and we'll see happy little faces with spoons in the mouth of this. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> Something's not working with that one. I know, it's confusing. Did you hurry up? <laughs> anyway, I made some polenta with some Parmesan Reggiano on top, the chicken marsala, I made a salad with port wine vinegar and some extra virgin olive oil, that should be good, some garlic, it's wonderful, little extra sauce, and some green beans and sweet peppers with garlic. So this should be a pretty good dinner. And then we'll come back after this course and have some creme brulee. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Marvelous. Oh, good. This is heaven. You can put the family crust in. Diane usually different. Put in the family crust. Yeah. So